Hello. Um, I'm just baking like crazy today. So anyways, we are going to do this. Okay. You know how I make my three ingredient cookies with one cup of sugar, one egg, and one cup of peanut butter. Okay. Perfect. Good. They're gluten-free, dairy-free, soy-free. Yummy. All right. And it makes around about 11 cookies. We're going to do this. I found, um, no, I didn't find it. My friend Heather found it and sent it to me. Corey B, who uh, is one of my favorite people. Um, I love watching him. He gets a little inappropriate sometimes, but I do like watching him. Um, he made this from somebody he watched. I'm tweaking it a bit because we made one and it is very rich and you don't need the whole thing. So I'm going to scale it down a bit and see what we can do. All right. So we're going to start out with one egg. And I'm going to do, I'm going to weigh it out. Two ounces of peanut butter. Two ounces of peanut butter in there. It's not a, I'm going to try to make it a little cleaner this time. I still have my peanut butter on here. So two ounces of peanut butter. One and three fourths. I bet this will do it. One and seven eighths. Come on, two ounces. Of peanut butter. Now I use this recipe, the one, one, and one for crusts for people that are gluten-free. Um, if they're not dairy-free, I use it for peanut butter or not peanut butter, pudding crusts or whatever. So who knew? It's a little over. No big deal. It's two and one eighths. Not a big deal. It's not going to matter. If you get two, it's not going to matter if you get two and one eighths. All right. And then for sugar, we're going to kind of lower the sugar. We're going to put one tablespoon because they're kind of sweet and two tablespoons. That's it. Now we are going to, my goodness, I don't have my stuff. We are going to, to mix it, mix it up in this cup and it spray the cup. Hopefully that's not a problem. Mix it, mix it good. I know you don't like all that noise. But if you just like get a sweet hankering for something or need it, there you go. All right, I'm gonna, I'm going to clean up these sides so they're all good. When I microwave it, we're gonna start out with a minute, high power, a minute, see what happens. Here we go. Yeah. All right. We're going to just, you're just going to wait with me. We're going to see. I kind of wish you could see like how it rises, but I just can't. Sorry. There's a mess in here. Oh. Peanut butter everywhere. Okay, still going. All right, 18 seconds. Oh, I gotta get a plate to put it on. Hmm. Now these are Tupperware and they get good. Cool, but... Okay, let's see what it looks like after a minute. Ooh, looking good. I think it's done. I did want a smaller um, cup. I kind of want a smaller one of those. Spatula. Come on now. Sorry. There we go. I thought I better just in case. It might, it might be all right. Okay. Here goes nothing. Woo! Okay. 
You see the steam. You see it in my face. Get a facial here. All right. Now, I already know it's good because I already tried it. So if you are dairy-free, gluten-free, soy-free, this is for you. Okay? Just a little treat. Maybe you're going camping and you want to make some for everybody. Super easy. Maybe you're having a birthday party or you're going to a birthday party and you take the ingredients or what. I don't know. Um, you make it really quick for your child who can't have the other um, allergen stuff. So, I mean, it's really, I mean, it's really good. Squishy. Now, if you're not gluten-free, dairy-free, soy-free, might I suggest some chocolate syrup. You know, because I'm a little extra. And some of these might be a little, this might be a sharing one, like you share with someone, okay? Because truly, it is very rich. And you're going to need some help. Maybe, maybe you make this as on a good occasion. I don't know. And then, now this is going to melt, but you would let it cool. Then put your whipped cream on. But since we're, you know, running out of time here. There you go. There you go. Three ingredient dessert. Anybody can make it. You can make it anywhere. You can make it at work. You can make it in the camper. You can make it at school. You can make it anywhere. You have a microwave and a cup. Just take your cup. Cup. That's it. I mean, a fork, a cup. Have everything. You know what? I bet. Wouldn't matter the size of anything. It doesn't have to be a cup. Any glass thing with a lid, you could have all your stuff already ready. Boom. Throw your, like, put your sugar in, put your peanut butter, keep your egg in the fridge. That wasn't me. That was our water tank thing. But anyways, then you can put your egg in, mix it all up, throw it in the microwave, and you have a dessert. So if you're worried about going to parties or events or whatever, or even for your own child, Everybody has a microwave. I have never been in a home without a microwave. So I have been in an office. I won't say whose. They know. But I was like, where's the microwave? Hmm, can't. But anyways, so voila. There you go. And uh, thanks, Heather, for letting me know you can do these in the microwave too. Have a good day and enjoy. Maybe even this could be for four people. It, they're, they're pretty rich. We couldn't, like Taylor and I started eating it and... We had to stop because it's pretty, pretty big. Um, so Jamie has probably at least half. So we'll see. Have a good day. I'm wondering if some of you guys want to see the middle. I totally will show you. Okay, so here it is. Same one. It's going to be hot. My little ears. I love my ears. All right, so say you like eating off of it. I don't know. So you know that the middle's done. Well, look at that. Yum. That's all I gotta say. Yum.